So it's 2023 and these are the seven outdated features of iPhone SE 2022. So the iPhone SE 2022 feels very, very small in 2023. It is the smallest iPhone that, I, that Apple sells now. Apple tried to go with the mini route. They didn't sell well enough, so they discontinued it. And the iPhone SE seems like it will be um, the next phone to go because of that small size. Um, pretty much every phone out here is bigger than the iPhone SE. And that's the, that's the route that all people pretty much go to. Is just they just want and are used to these big screen phones so this is a very outdated small phone um, that has no place in this big phone world next is not only does it have a small screen it has big bezels and that's probably the downside of this phone um from a hardware perspective is that you would think that if you're if you're having a small screen that you would have small bezels but no you have big thick bezels on the top and on the bottom that's something that reminds people of the first gen iphone so yeah that's a very um very outdated feature it makes this phone feel like it's so old um so yeah big bezels is not a sexy feature of this phone next the home button very outdated we replaced the home button with face id and that has given us smaller bezels it has given us more screen real estate it is definitely an improvement for a lot of people um, just because of the fact that the home button just for some people it just makes it feel like the first gen iphone all over again i know it was a very helpful feature at the time but face id has gotten more and more reliable and just faster uh you know it just some, some people still like the home button but i think most people have gotten a face id and it's just gotten to the point where with combined with dynamic island face id is just uh with that little animation it just feels way more modern next outdated feature for sure is a lightning um, port um it was 10 years uh, but now we finally have usb type c and we have a harmony of devices with charging ports now you can do android phones you could do laptops ipads finally we have uh, the port that could rule them all uh, when i still plug in uh, a lightning with the lightning port on other iphones it just feels outdated it feels like a, like they're four five six years old which some of them are and when i plug in the iphone 15 for example it just feels like yeah it's modern it's this is the way to go this is what how all the devices um have the same port it just works out better i think this is a a, a small but outdated feature that i think a lot of people have gotten used to in um in 2023 and this the lack of this feature makes the iphone se 2022 uh, very old and that's the lack of having a u1 chip now it may not seem like a big deal but the u1 chip uh it just brings uh, a couple of things that are very important to people and including me for example um when you have air tags and you want to locate something and be very precise that's one thing another thing that a lot of people probably don't know about is that now iphones um when you when you turn them off you could are you're still able to locate them right but that's only if they have the u1 chip so the iphone se 2022 feels very outdated by not having this feature this is a, a phone that was released in 2022 but this doesn't have the u1 chip that was released with the iphone 11 so it's like three four years um behind so that's a very underrated feature uh that makes this phone feel outdated is that you want the lack of u1 chip next i don't think anybody could debate this but the iphone se has a very outdated small battery and now in 2023 pretty much every iphone modern iphone has good enough battery life um that was always a big complaint about people is their iphones not lasting long and the iphone se 2022 falls into that trap of having a smaller device with a smaller battery thus small battery life thus 
you're looking for a charger all the time. So yeah, that's an outdated feature right now. Pretty much every iPhone um, released in the past couple of years and pretty much every Android phone has good enough battery life to last all day. So the last outdated feature of the iPhone SE 2022 has got to be the base storage of 64 gigs. That definitely feels um, a very, very old type of storage space because files, cameras have gotten better, files have gotten bigger, and your 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 people are quickly, quickly pushing up against that 64 gigabyte mark. Um, with with everything that's going on. You know, these phones need to need to have all the space to hold all your stuff. And 64 gigs does feel outdated. I mean, I remember when they had 8 gigs, 16 gigs, 32 gigs. 64 feels um, like those. Now, now the standard is 128 gigs. And for some people, that's not even enough. So 64 gigs of storage is definitely an outdated um, feature of the, of, of the iPhone SE 2022. So that's been pretty much all the biggest reasons uh, that this the iPhone SE 2022 feels very outdated. It feels from uh, like a phone that was released such a long time ago, even though it's been uh, relatively new production wise. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's an old school type of phone, and it has some it's missing some important features, or it has some really bad features. Um, it makes a lot of people glad and appreciate that they have more modern, more newer iPhones.